Hey guys, this is how to update to the latest iOS, iPad and iPhone. So both things, you guys can update to the latest iOS. So anyways, right now you guys are gonna follow this regardless whichever you guys have. Go into your settings, under your settings, you guys are gonna see the second option, software update. If you don't, don't worry about it. But first of all, since this is a big update, make sure to have it back up. So you guys can go into your iCloud. So your first option will say your name or your device's name. Just go to it and manually make that backup over iCloud. If you have no more space on your iCloud, then go ahead and hook it up to your computer and make that backup. If you're having any issues, same thing. Hook it up to your computer and update from there. On Mac, you can use Finder. On PC, you guys can use iTunes to make the backup and update as well. But anyways, let's just say you guys don't see this software update available as your second option. Scroll down, general, software update, your second option. And then you guys should see this. If nothing's popping up, just turn on and off automatic updates. And then this is gonna pop up. So. You guys can go into iOS 17.7, which a lot of people, if your iPhone or iPad's not compatible with iOS 18, that's all you guys can do. Go and update it there. That's gonna be the last one you guys are gonna be able to update. However, for those of you who have a compatible device, down here below, you're gonna see upgrade to iOS 18. That's all the way in the bottom. So we're gonna tap there. Then we're gonna go on and update now. Put in your passcode. When so you put in your passcode, it's just going to update. And we're going to press agree on the bottom right hand side. Agree again. And there we go. So the first thing it's going to do, it's going to run the update. So that means it's going to go ahead and download it. Then it's going to install it. So at this point in time, just leave your iPhone or iPad to be. It's going to do everything by itself. Just have it hooked up to some electricity. Even if it's 100% battery, I still recommend doing that while you're running any type of update and don't touch it. If uh, anything happens when it's, when it's downloading, no big deal, you just download it again. However, if something happens when you're installing it and it turns off for any reason, then it might crash and you guys will have to factory restore it. But that's why I told you to make that backup just in case. So right now, all we have to do is just wait. If you guys just leave it there to do its thing, you guys will see an Apple logo loading bar later on. It's gonna restart and gonna be done with the update. From there, you should see your iPhone verifying the update. Now, finally, you're gonna see it go on into an Apple logo loading bar and it's gonna restart. All right, so once your iPhone updates, you should see something like so. Just go ahead and swipe up. Again, you would have seen an Apple logo loading bar, it would have restarted. But anyways, let's swipe up. And then if you go into your settings, you should see that something's changed already. Let's just go into general. And you're gonna see right here that you're all up to date. And yes, a few things have changed. So you're gonna notice those right away. And anyways, that would be it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, comments, guess right there in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.